What's up guys, it's your girl Hannah Marie and I'm back with another cooking video. And today, I'm taking it to Mexico. We're gonna be doing an authentic shrimp cocktail, as I call it. It's originally called Cocktail de Camarón. Mm, okay, my Spanish is getting better. Like I said, this is the way that I do it. You definitely don't have to follow these steps, but if you want an authentic, good shrimp cocktail, then you probably wanna follow my steps. So, let's get into it. But first, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I post videos like this one. Let's get into it. So now we're gonna start with the ingredients. That's the first important thing. You gotta know what you need in the shrimp cocktail. So most importantly, obviously, you're gonna need shrimp. So I just get the large shell on shrimp. You can get whichever one you want. And I usually get about two pounds of shrimp. But like I said, you can either add or take away depending on how many people you're feeding. Next, we need avocados, tomatoes, jalapeno, a chili serrano pepper, celery, cucumber, cilantro, limes, onion, and then for like the sauce, you're gonna need Valentina. I like the hot one, the extra hot. You're gonna need tapatio, ketchup, clamato. You can get the regular one, but I love lemon a lot, so I always get the one that has lemon in it. And you're gonna need a beer. Yes, I know. I'll tell you about it in just a sec. You're gonna need oregano leaves, complete seasoning, garlic pepper or like just any garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and salt. And that is it, my friends. Of course, you know, please wash your produce before you start cooking anything. Your tomatoes, even your limes, you need to be washing because you don't know whose hands have been touching these limes. So please wash your produce. Now that the produce is washed, we're gonna get our water for our shrimp and we're gonna put it on high so it can get to a boil. But you know that takes forever in a day. So you already know what we have to do. So tradition here, time to spark. So I have the water boiling for my shrimp. It's not quite got to a roar, but once it gets to a roaring boil, you're gonna wanna throw your shrimp in there. But until then. Yummy. How are y'all liking my videos? Like truly, let me know how y'all are really liking the videos. Y'all want something different? Do you want more? Let me know, I like your opinion. You guys can also tell me what you'd want me to cook. Mm-hmm, I said it. I'll even cook a dish you tell me to. And I promise you, it's gonna taste so good. I just wish y'all could taste my cooking. Hey, maybe you can one day. Make sure you leave it in the comments though. So now that the water is clearly boiling, this is when you wanna put your stuff in. Now, this is optional. I like to add a tomato to the water to like season the shrimp. And typically I like doing fresh onion and garlic in here, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna add what I have, just onion powder, probably about a tablespoon, and then a tablespoon of garlic pepper, cause that's what I have. But if you have garlic powder, that's fine, or fresh garlic, it's fine too. And then about a tablespoon of salt. Now, when this starts to get red, like a tint of red, because the tomato has cooked that much and it's done, then that's when we'll add our shrimp. Now I'm gonna cut up my ingredients. I will list everything and tell you the measurements, but like I said, if you're gonna be doing more, you may have to add a little bit more ingredients, or if you're doing less, you know, you get the gesture. So I just do one whole onion, red preferably, but if you have to get the yellow one, it's perfectly fine. It literally is the same thing, but they just call for the red one, so. So you just wanna cut your onion in thin slices and then you wanna square it off. So I'll show you what I mean. One second. Once you got it all cut up, just wanna take it and just square it up. So stressed out. Me and my boyfriend just broke up. It's like, it's these damn onions, Jesus. Now that I have them all chopped up and I'm done crying, I'm gonna get my bowl and put the onions in. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm putting all the ingredients separate in just a second. So, I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest of the ingredients. Now, I know I told you that I'm gonna tell you about how many you need. For the tomatoes, I do three, 
for the avocados, three, one whole cucumber, two celery stalks, a bushel of cilantro, one jalapeno pepper, and then one serrano pepper. I'm about to chop it all up and I'll be back. In the meantime, you know, you could uh, beat me to it and have a little smoke break. So you can see the tomato has already started peeling its skin and it has a hue of like red orange. So now we're gonna add the shrimp. Just add them straight in and only cook them for five minutes. That's it. You don't wanna overcook shrimp because then it turns rubbery and it's nasty. If you're like me, you don't add all the ingredients in one bowl. I like to assemble my shrimp cocktail so I have the liquid by itself, I have all the ingredients by itself and then I get the bowl or cup and just assemble it like that. To me, it tastes better like that and I have living proof because I used to cook mine where I just put everything in one bowl and then I cooked it this way that I do now and I've gotten a lot of people who said they liked it that way, so yeah, do it this way. Oh, that's the timer for the shrimp. Let's go. So they are clearly done. I'm gonna take this to the strainer. Now, before I pour all of this out and before I forget, we're going to pour about two cups of this fresh shrimp broth into a bowl and we're, that's gonna, and that's gonna be added to our mixture and it's gonna be so good, I promise you, promise you. If you skip this step, it may not have as much flavor. So make sure you pour some of your shrimp broth in a bowl. Yummy. Pour the rest in the strainer. I'm gonna let these cool, and while I finish chopping that up, why? Oh, you can't even see me. I'm gonna. It's so good. It's cooking up the camera. I'm gonna let these cool, and you already know what that means. I'm gonna need a little smoke break. I ain't have one. You already, you already beat me to it, so I gotta catch up. You gotta let the cameraman get some. $5 a hit, that's why. Here you go. So all my ingredients are nicely chopped up and organized. I know she looks very nice and presentable. Now the hard part and the noise and the most annoyingest part. Now we have to peel and devein these little mother Cause if not, then you're gonna be eating poop and that's nasty. So I'm gonna peel and devein these shrimp and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna make the mixture. Now that I have my shrimp all nice, peeled, and deveined, we're gonna set this aside and get our bowl with the shrimp broth. And now we're gonna do the liquid for the shrimp cocktail. So, this is about two cups of the shrimp broth. Now we're gonna get our measuring cup. We're gonna do one cup of ketchup. Sometimes you may have to add more. I have a little audience back there. I'm gonna add this to the mixture. And don't worry, we're gonna whisk this all up. Just, just give me a second. We're gonna do two cups of the Clamato. And no, I'm not rinsing it out with the ketchup because it just adds more flavor. Duh. I'm gonna do two cups of this. I see you looking at me. I know I'm bad. Anyway to the Bud Light, Bud Lightyear. This is actually a Clamato version, so yeah. Supposedly this makes it way better, like Hispanics stand by this. You have to add this to the mixture. If you don't, you're tripping. So add about a cup of that. And don't worry, if you have kids, it's not gonna get your kids drunk. I have a little one running around here, so it's okay. Trust me. And best believe he don't be around near the smoke breaks. I promise, so don't, don't come for me. Don't cancel me now. I'm smarter than that. Next ingredient, this is totally optional. I like a lot of spice and to me, I think it gives it more flavor. Valentina, you have to add Valentina. I like to do about three tablespoons, but you do as you please. And of course, y'all know I don't use measuring cups because I am the measuring cup, duh. Besides the one that I just used because ketchup is kind of hard to measure, You're eyeballing. Yeah, I'm a professional, but when it comes to the ketchup and the like liquids, I have to kind of measure it. But with this one, I know my hot sauce. You're a professional in many things. <laughs> yes, I'm a professional at 
a lot of things, if you know what I mean. Now I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of this tapotillo. Then I'm going to add some oregano leaves. Some Complete Season by Goya, cause you know, that's the only one I like. And of course, all my measurements are about a tablespoon. You should know that by now. Pepper, salt, onion powder, and lastly, garlic pepper or garlic powder. Now, we're going to add the limes. And I don't know why I just did this because I have a whole lime squeezer and that's what we're about to do because we ain't about to sit here doing all that. Easy peasy. These are about four limes. So if you like lime, add four or more. Or if you don't, you don't have to add it at all. We do need lime. Yeah, you do need limes. You need at least one whole lime. At least, or it's not gonna taste right. Now that we have all of our ingredients in the sauce, we're going to whisk it up until evenly combined. And of course, you have to taste it, so that's exactly what I'm going to do once this is ready. Cause sometimes you may have to add a little bit more of this and that. That's what being a chef is all about. You wanna taste? Taste the broth. Ew. Taste it. Does it need something else? Yep. Yeah. Is it good? Yum! <laughs> yeah, it is pretty good though. Now that my liquid ingredients are mixed and well combined, I'm gonna add it to the refrigerator for about an hour to let it get all marinated and just put it in the fridge for an hour, trust me. So it's been an hour and I'm starving. This is done. We are ready to assemble. I like to be extra and lace the cup up with tapatillo. Then we're gonna add some shrimp and don't worry, my hands are clean. And I'm gonna try to not mess up my little design here that I just did. And the, the thing with this is you don't wanna overfill it because then it gets too much. We're gonna do about a scoop full of onions, a scoop full of tomatoes, a scoop full of cucumber, scoop full of celery. You know, y'all get the gesture. Add a little bit of these jalapenos. And lastly, avocado. Now, we're gonna take our mixture and add it to the cup. Mama! Mama! Wait, wait. And don't worry, I'ma clean it all up. Now I'm just gonna top it off like I see the restaurants do. And voila, you have your shrimp cocktail. Now we have to taste it. Just gonna mix it. Oh. Really? So rude. They don't want to get eight. Well, you're getting eight tonight. So I'm gonna mix it all up so you can get all of your little ingredients. Let me put that mugger in. He don't want to stay in. Anyway, let's try. Mm-mm-mm. I do it every single time. Mmm. That's so good. You wanna try, cameraman? Mm hmm. Here, try. This would be good with these. Nice pair. Let me try. I'm gonna take this tostado and assemble it. Put a little shrimp, my ingredients. I put a little avocado over there. Do a little ASMR. Mm. Mm hmm. So good. Well, 
Until next time, you already know what I'm about to say. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, and cut on that notification bell to get notified when I do videos. See you next time. Bye.